Yeah, uh, welcome back to the Broadcasting Center here at the general meeting of the IEC 2016 in Frankfurt. My name is Kurt Schlüttelburg from the DKE in Frankfurt as well. And uh, in this interview, I will talk about uh, Work 4.0, Open and Transparent Communities. Work 4.0 is, of course, a buzzword. And this is a buzzword just to describe the future of making standards, the how we will work together, how uh, we uh, will interact by using modern IT tools, and, of course, the question how the communication works uh, during these processes. So, and of course, I'm not alone. We have an expert here with us, and uh, I introduce Javier Garcia Diaz. You are the Standards Director of ENOA. This is the Spanish Association for Standardization and Certification, so welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, um, what are you doing at ENOA? I'm in, in ENOA. I've got the privilege to be the Director of the Standards Department, which is like the, the core of the organization, is uh, the unit where we deal with all the sectors that want to develop standards. My responsibility there is to ensure coordination, uh, management of the work programs, uh, solving issues of overlapping of uh, different uh, areas, and, uh, and looking into the future to see how we can keep on giving mm. solutions to the needs of industry and the stakeholders, the market in general. Yeah. And this is exactly the bridge, the future. So work 4.0 should right. be important for you. So how do you see it? It's uh, it's uh, reinventing a standardization, which is what we are these days uh, here uh, doing. No, it's uh, how will uh, we be able to keep on providing a service that is valuable to industry, which is valuable to all stakeholders, including public authorities. Uh, how, uh, when the resources of industry to participate in standardization are more and more scarce, we can uh, still uh, have them on board and uh, make their life easier in terms of participation in the standards development process. Mm -hmm. uh, that's more or less. Yeah. And your stakeholders, how do they see this topic? It's, it I would say, it's, um, I would like if I said that there is a clear vision as to how this uh, has to evolve. Uh, it's clear as, uh, as uh, we are seeing that social media and uh, all in all uh, communication technologies are becoming a more comfortable way of communicating. Mm -hmm. And um, very clearly, uh, people don't have time to move to another city to meet, but they have a smartphone through which they can communicate. They've got a tablet or a computer through which they can participate and interact with colleagues from anywhere else in the world. So we mm, are seeing that it has to go in that direction. The mm. solution, fortunately, we still don't have it. Mm. So I guess that digital transformation is a very interesting topic for you. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, mm. but not for, uh, for uh, us alone. This is a challenge for the whole uh, standardization uh, system, I would say, and this is uh, an issue in which all of us, the national uh, committees, the national uh, standards bodies with the international organizations, like we are here with IEC, uh, with ISO, with the different uh, standards development organizations, how we together can envisage and mm -hmm. how we together invest in the best uh, solutions, in the, in the best uh, in projects to see to what extent uh, we can indeed provide solutions and better ways of working for our stakeholders. Mm. Uh, you will have a talk in some minutes uh, in the reinvention lab yep. about work 4.0, of course. And the subtopic is their open and transparent community. So this transparency issues, how important is that for you? I, tr I think transparency is one of the critical values of the standardization system as we understand it. Uh, based on the national delegation principles and open tables where people can participate more and more, there is this idea of open standards, uh, which implies that the participation is open to anybody interested, that access to the solutions that the standards uh, include is open to anyone that wants to do it. So this concept of openness of transparency is critical and more and more 
in the ICT world where there are no boundaries, where uh, people want to access uh, to information uh, without any kind of limitation. I think transparency is, is one of these values that uh, makes the difference between our system and that of other uh, fora where uh, technical specifications are developed. Mm -hmm. Do you think that openness and transparency is uh, key as well for bringing more experts to the standardization work? I think, I think um, that uh, one of our biggest responsibilities as uh, from the standard system is, is to facilitate access to the process and access to the end deliverables. So how can we enrich the standards development process with more perspectives, with more contributions from industry, from testing laboratories, from private mm -hmm. companies, from authorities. Uh, the best, the most we can do to get as many of, of them on board, the better. The dissemination of those processes, how can people be aware about the fact that there are standards being developed on topics which are relevant to them. Uh, for th all of this, ICT and work uh, 4.0, which is the concept that is all around this, is critical as much as for the mm, knowledge that there are standards to be applied in by the marketplace once they are already there. Mm. And uh, what are the next plans of ANOA just to implement all these things? Well, these are, into practice? these are very costly things sure. and these are th that require resources, not only mm. economic, but also in terms of investing in projects that can be successful or that can fail. No? So we are doing some of these uh, initiatives ourselves. We have tried some uh, projects in the recent times in relation to automatic translation, for example, of, of texts. Uh, not as successful as, as we would have expected, but in any case, uh, still thinking on, on it. And uh, definitely in the future, as I was saying before, uh, this is a collaborative effort with the rest of the members of, uh, of ISO and IEC, and our intention is to try to um, collaborate with the development of IT solutions that these two organizations mm -hmm. might okay. build. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, so we have learned that a lot of things are going on and uh, work 4.0 means a lot of things. Digitalization, for example, but also the question of how to make the process of standardization more transparent. So thank you very much. Thank you. IEC General Meeting 2016. Connecting Communities. Reinvent Standardization.